on the issue of thimerosal and mercury. We've been presented with all kinds of conflicting reports about mercury being in vaccinations that could cause various illness. But we've also been provided with very definitive science that says there's no mercury. I, I want the presenter to address it, and I want the witnesses for the opposition to address it. I'll let them address first. That there is no longer any mercury in the immunizations is the information that we've been provided. You know, if you believe that's different, please tell us in what science you are basing that on. Yeah. Ben, mercury? Mercury has been eliminated from virtually every single vaccine. However, multiple dose vials of the influenza shot given to children can still contain, I believe, 25 micrograms of mercury. Unusual vaccines, I believe Japanese encephalitis vaccines contain mercury. Um, the, but the, the, and also I believe that the, the uh, tetanus shot can contain mercury. Thank but you, sir. The vast majority of childhood vaccines have no thimerosal at all and trace amounts of, of mercury at best. Thank Worse. you. I'm oh, sorry. Dr. Gordon is correct. Thank you. This legislature actually passed a law uh, authored by now Senator Fran Pavley that states that children, uh, except if, unless there's a medical emergency declared by the governor, cannot receive vaccinations containing uh, thimerosal. We do not have, as Dr. Gordon stated, uh, there no childhood vaccination uh, contains uh, thimerosal. In addition, none of the vaccines that are required under this bill, uh, under California state law, contains thimerosal, even though thimerosal has been studied and found to be safe, and there's no linkage between thimerosal and autism.